hello everyone and uh, in today's video we are going to talk uh, about the automatic climate control uh, that is in the elite i20 2019 variant this video is going to be pre pretty much the same for uh, you would say every hyundai car because uh, the functions that it offers is almost the same the difference is only in uh, basically the looks and all otherwise the functions is pretty much same you talk about uh, the old creta or the verna uh, grand light in yours you name the car it's pretty much all the same so uh, talking about elite i20 this uh, automatic climate control is only offered in the top end trim now earlier they used to also offer in the asta variant and the asta optional and the dual tone but they have discontinued uh, sadly in the lower variants now it's just uh, present in the asta optional variant no other variant uh, comes equipped this with the, this uh, auto climate control so talking about our features uh, they're basically pretty much the same it's uh, not very different uh, on the left hand side you get the knob uh, for the bl ac blower in which you can set the speed manually uh, this is to uh, switch off uh, the air conditioning system and this is to regulate the temperature it's currently at low if i'm going to set any temperature then it's going to uh, help me with do that and if i do it on high that's the heater is turned on and in low the ac would work on full blast there's not going to be any uh, discontinuation in the working of the compressor so i'll switch it off for a second and talking more about this uh, these uh, three buttons uh, will determine the airflow pattern like if i'm going to press this the air would be uh, coming from the windscreen uh, or the inside of the windscreen and uh, this is to keep it on the face and this is uh, to blow air to the legs that's pretty much it and uh, this button is used uh, for the circulation of air uh, if i'm um, if the light is on that means the interior air is being circulated and no external air is entering the cabin and if it's off then the air from outside is coming inside and uh, this is for rear defogger the rear defogger that is on the rear windscreen uh, it is used to clear the fog or the mist and this is the front windscreen in which the all the air with air conditioning on is blown on the front windscreen which clear off uh, the fog and moisture talking more about uh, the basic function in which uh, if i'm if i don't want to use the auto function then i'll simply set any temperature which i want maybe 20 degrees and i'm going to switch on the ac nothing else it's that simple oh, and i can control the fan speed manually here and if you want to use auto uh, what auto function uh, does is uh, let's say we're going to take uh, 23 degrees as uh, our temperature and if i press auto so you'll see the fan speed is increasing on its own and the airflow pattern uh, will also increase. i'll just switch it off for a second it's going to make a lot of noise so if i uh, press the auto button what it's uh, actually going to do is uh, it would regulate uh, the fan speed uh, and uh, the airflow pattern that means uh, from where the air is going to come it's come going to feed uh, from front or uh, anywhere the air the basically what it does is it uh, determines uh, the airflow and uh, from where the air is going to come that's all it only you need to set the temperature that's uh, all uh, the vehicle would do on its own the benefits of using uh, auto ac is that uh, it uh, gives a better fuel economy for uh, uh, running the ac whereas in uh, using the ac manually usually the ac is turned on or off but uh, if you use auto function then the ac decides uh, the intensity of uh, cooling the cabin so that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, i just forgot to mention this is there is a sensor here for temperature and the other sensor is uh, placed on the dashboard for uh, uh, determining the heating of the dashboard and all so that's all for automatic climate control and uh, talking about the ac performance uh, hyundai cars are generally known uh, for uh, pretty well air conditioning of the cabin uh, so ac is uh, damn cool in this vehicle and uh, we also get a rear uh, vent for the rear passengers which also enhances the cooling capability of the vehicle so overall the ac performance is really good in this vehicle and uh, there is nothing to complain as such so uh, that's pretty much it and uh, thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it 
and is there anything that you would like uh, in my future videos do not forget to put it in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one bye